Alone. Written by M. A. Perry. I'm dead. The thought floated through Tara's mind as if on a breeze, swaying back and forth until settling in the box her mind reserved for indisputable facts. Despite being dead, she could feel her eyes twitching behind closed eyelids, her limbs beginning to shift and her body achy, but there. She opened her eyes and they immediately adjusted to the grayscale world around her. Thick, heavy air settled on her like a weighted blanket, the pressure suffocating had she needed to breathe. She sat up, glancing around. Tar realized she was in her bedroom, the same place she'd died. Only her family, who were surrounding her at the time, were gone. The thought of dying didn't sadden her. For many years, death had hovered around her vision, always patient, knowing she'd be coming to him soon. Loneliness, however, loneliness did sadden her. She strained her ears for any sound, apprehension settling in her stomach as she realized being alone led to another feeling, fear. She didn't know if she believed in God or the devil, but she expected something after death. If not something, then a total and complete nothing. She didn't know what this was. She swung her legs over the side of the bed, her mattress creaking as she pushed herself up and walked over to the velvet blackout curtains concealing her bedroom window. The decadent deep blue fabric dulled to a dark flat gray in this new reality. She pulled them back, revealing a stretch of fuzzy gray nothingness. Her chest heaved with a motion of a sigh, the habit unbreakable despite the lack of air pumping in and out. She was trapped here. Am I in purgatory? She thought, then laughed. <laughs> Quickly, she clapped her hands over her mouth to stop herself, the sound alarming in the absolute silence of her room. Almost immediate laughter an exact replica of her own, reverberated back to her from the downstairs living room. She jumped, her head involuntarily jerking towards the bedroom door, each hair on her body needle sharp as she slowly prickled. The laugh resounded again, <laughs> this time along with a chorus of laughter each voice tumbling desperately over each other, the tinge of madness crawling through the sound unsettled Tara in a way that brought tears to her eyes and would have sent her heart racing had it been beating. The fear of being alone now paled in comparison to the alternative. She quickly crossed her room and grabbed her baseball bat, now ash gray, gripping it so tightly her fingers would have cramped back in her old reality. She walked slowly out of the room and descended the stairs one at a time, taking time to pause after each couple of steps. The nearly imperceptible sound of her shoes brushing against the carpet fibers resounded loudly in the silence that invaded the house. Tara knew they could hear her, 
More laughter escalating into hysterical shrieks bounced off the walls. Tara's body flooded her senses with terror, urging her to hide. But she knew no matter where she hid, the source of the laughter would still find her. She needed to confront them. Now. She stopped at the bottom of the steps, gripping her bat tighter. She took a deep, useless breath and jumped into the doorway of the living room. Instantly, her eyes connected on the source of the derailed laughter, and her body froze in shock. She stared directly into her own face. Her eyes roamed over the other familiar features then darted to the other figures in the room. They were all her. In fact, there had to be at least a dozen Taras, and they all stared back, smiling in unison. Is this hell? She asked bluntly. Not hell. One of them stepped forward, and not purgatory. This is a dimension all of you, Tara. We've been waiting for you. The thin threads of Tara's rationality began to snap as she struggled to form another question. Her thought process stopped abruptly as she heard a laugh <laughs> come from upstairs. In her room. Was that... her? She looked back to the Tara that spoke up to her in the living room and began to laugh.